right, we're gonna do things a bit differently. Anna's gonna do the intermediate world kettlebell video, demo it. She's gonna start by putting the kettlebells together. Then she's gonna do a dead swing clean. Now everything is step by step. There's no rushing. So clean it, take a few breaths, think about what you're gonna do next. Anna, please clean it, dead swing clean. Wait, she's gonna do a gorilla clean, which is one into a hang. Pull it up with your legs, straight away the other one comes down and back up and wait there. Please go. Back down to the ground, through the legs, to the front, dead to the ground. Now she's going to do the second set of this combo. Dead swing clean, please. Take a few breaths, then the gorilla clean, please. One side down, hang. Pull it up, hang, pull it up. Wait there, take a few breaths. She's gonna do two combos of the swing clean followed by a rack and overhead squat. So swing clean, through the legs and back up. Then you're gonna do a racked and overhead squat. So right goes up because we're working the right side on this time. Overhead squat, rack it, back into a swing clean. This is your second set of the combo. Right side goes up, overhead squat. She just performed two combos. Rack it please, take a breath. She's gonna do the second or the third combo two times, which is a racked deadlift followed by a double windmill. You're fucking heavy, man. Oh, and I need some rest. And you. We're gonna imagine we didn't see that. Okay, when she's ready, she's going to clean them back up. Okay, so she was here. Now the left side comes down for a deadlift, a rack deadlift. Left side down. Squat. Okay, now the right side goes up and she's going to do the windmill. Here we go. So the toes are pointing towards me. She's gonna push the hip out toward that side. Down, into rack, deadlift. Adjust the feet for squat. Hips low, shoulders high. Press up, adjust the feet. They're pointing towards me. The hips are pushing out that way. She's looking at the bell. This weight goes all the way to the ground. Rack it, down to the ground. Then she's gonna do four Twice, uh, tricep push-ups off the kettlebell. They need to be placed under the shoulders. Got them a little bit too narrow. There she goes. One, two. One straight line between the shoulders, hips and ankles. Core on, three and four. Okay, you can come up. So that's one set. That's only the right side. Then you do the left side. This is the intermediate workout. Look up the advanced. It's double what you're doing here as a, in regards to it being advanced and complex. Everything we're doing here is more about uh, coordination and grinding. So the, the windmill is a grinding move. The Gorilla Clean is more about coordination. Uh, the Advanced really has some uh, different uh, things that you probably haven't seen before, like swing, clean, while the other one is swinging. Look it up. Anyway, that's it for the Intermediate. Join in. Next is the Beginner. And I was gonna demonstrate side on. I'm just going to start with the dead. Anna is going to demonstrate side on. She's going to start with the dead swing clean into the rack. Anna, please start. Take a few breaths. Gorilla clean. Drop one down, hang, back up, rack, wait. Back down, dead to the ground for your second set. Back up, Gorilla Clean, 
Keep them up. We're going to move to the next combo. Swing clean, please. Followed by a racked and overhead squat. So right goes up, or actually she was on the left side now. Don't matter. Squat. Rack it. Swing clean. Up. Overhead squat. Rack it. Left goes down. Deadlift. Right goes up. Windmill. She's adjusting the feet, looking at the bell, touching the ground gently. Back up. Rack it. Deadlift. Squat deadlift, obviously. Press it. Windmill. Adjust the feet, push the hip out. Look at the bell. Back up. Rack it. Bells down. Push ups off the bell. Bells should be placed right under the shoulders. Tricep push up. Four, three, two, one. As he's done. Now, Anna drops the bells and follows them through a little bit. That's because they're heavy weights and she has been training a lot too this week. So we're both pretty fatigued. We really should not be doing this video yet. As you're dropping these bells, you don't want to follow them here. This is following the bells. You want to stay upright and create some hip hyperextension. This is safe when you lower back. So I'm going to demonstrate that one time. Anytime you're dropping the bells into a back swing, just create hip hyperextension. Here's the difference. Now I'm going to follow them. As you're following them, all the pressure is on your lower back. Don't. Even if you know what you need to do sometimes, once you're fatigued here in your glutes, you won't be able to do it. That's the intermediate. Check out the beginner and advanced as well. Don't forget, if you're training like a caveman, you need a caveman shirt. It's in our cavemantraining.com forward slash shop. Clang. Bells should the clang, back. not bang. On the back. Form and technique first, weight and wrap second. Don't forget our badge.